Are you ready to have your website get found by the right people? Are you looking to rank at the top of Google so you get more traffic to your website? Are you ready to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your organic traffic? If so, you are in the right place, my friend. Welcome to the Simple SEO Content Podcast, where I show you how to combine the power of SEO, search engine optimization, and content marketing to build your like, know, and trust factor with your audience, which allows you to get found by the right people and turn those visitors into buyers. No more frustration or confusion and no more time wasted wondering if you're doing your SEO right. It's time to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your business. Hi, my friend. Welcome back to Simple Marketing and SEO. Today, I have a quick tip, quick SEO training for you. I want to talk about title tags. What is an SEO title tag? How do you write one? Where does the keyword go? What the heck am I doing with it? Because I've gotten some questions from you about SEO and title tags and keywords, and you're not quite sure what to do with them, who to write them for, what they look like, where they go, any of that. So let's jump in and talk about it. I'm your host, Rachel Lindhagen, and I'm so glad to have you here with me today. So let's get right into this. What is an SEO title tag? So a title tag is a little bit of content. It's actually a maximum of 60 characters, including spaces. So we're not even talking about a full sentence. It's just a little bit of information, and it's going to show up in the Google search results when someone searches for your business or a keyword related to your business and you show up in Google search results. Your title tag is going to probably be the first thing that they see when they're trying to decide whether or not they're gonna click through to even come visit your website. So it's really important, but it's also one of your SEO elements that Google is gonna look at, which means we need to write this for your ideal customer, but make sure that it follows Google's best practices and Google's rules, because if it doesn't, Google's not going to display it the way that you want it to be displayed. And then you're going to be at the mercy of the search engine to determine how they show your website to other people. And that's not necessarily a good thing. So like I said, Your title tag is a maximum of 60 characters, and that does include spaces. That's not a lot of room to work with. It's less than a sentence. It's, you know, maybe one sentence. This is not 60 words. This is 60 spaces, 60 characters, including spaces. It's not much to work with. It should include your keyword. Ideally, it should also include your business name if there's enough room to do that in that 60 character limit. Now, if you can include a call to action term, learn, discover, find out, shop, try, something like that, we've actually seen up to a 30% increase in the click-through rate, meaning three out of 10 more people click on a listing that has that call to action or that action verb at the beginning of the title tag than one that does not. So that's really interesting. If you can fit that call to action term in there, it's a really good thing to do. There are two different ways that you can format a title tag. You can write it in sentence format where it's just got your keyword, your business name, maybe your call to action term, and it's in a sentence. Shop blue shoes at shoes.com would be an example of that. Or you can do it in the other manner, which is keywords then or small string sentence, and then a pipe, the one that looks like the straight up and down line, and then the business name or the website name. So it could be, you know, blue shoes and high heels pipe shoes.com, something like that. It doesn't really honestly matter which route you go. Um, I do try to stay consistent. So I tend to do sentence format just because I prefer that. I think it's more aesthetically pleasing. But there are times that I do the keyword pipe because I can't make it all fit. Um, Or I do sentence with the keyword with the 
you know, with the pipe and then the business name at the end, if it looks like it flows better. So you're going to do that. You're going to have researched a SEO keyword that you're going to use for your title tag, and you're going to use that keyword in it. You want to also remember the rules here. You only create one, you only use your keyword in a maximum of two pages on your entire website and blog. So if you've already used this keyword in a title tag and meta description, or you've used it to optimize another page, you need to make sure you write it down somewhere so you don't use it again. Because if you use the same keyword on all the pages on your website, Google's going to limit you because they're only going to show you a maximum of two times for any keyword, which means you've got two chances to rank instead of 10 chances to rank if you had 10 different keywords on your different pages. So you really want to make sure that you're keeping track of what keywords you're using and where you're using them and that you're using them a maximum of two times. So your title tag is for Google and your ideal customer. It is the first thing that your ideal customer is going to see when they're deciding whether or not to click through to your website. It's a maximum of 60 characters. It generally goes along with your meta description. Your meta description is the next piece of information that your ideal customer or Google are going to look at. And your meta description is going to, again, include your business name and your keyword and be a maximum of 160 characters. So start with your title tag. Once you have a title tag that you feel good about, go ahead and write a meta description as well. Now, if you want to learn more about this, you want to understand how it all works, um, go ahead, go to the freebies tab on the website or the homepage, get signed up for SEO 101. That's going to give you that introduction to SEO and how we start using it to get traffic to your website. And then make sure you're taking simple SEO content. There's no better way to work with me than in that class where you get to learn, you get to apply what you're learning. And I'm there to answer your questions because I promise you, my friend, questions come up when you're learning SEO. So let's work together. Take the class, come on in, ask the questions as they arise, and let's get some traffic. You've got this website, you're building this content, you're spending the time to create it and to grow this business. You, my friend, need to do SEO on your website. Your website and your content deserve for you to do the SEO and do it the right way so that more people see your content. Until you do SEO, you might as well not have a website because nobody's going to see it. 90% of all the website pages out there do not get traffic from Google. You can easily move into that coveted top 10% just by learning how to do SEO and consistently implementing it. Super easy, three-step process. Learn, implement, get results. Let me show you how to do it. All right, that's it for today. In next week's episode, we're gonna talk about how you can check your SEO keyword rankings. So be sure if you're not yet subscribed, you haven't yet followed the podcast, make sure you do that so you don't miss out because next week is gonna be an awesome lesson talking about how you find out what's working, how you check your keyword rankings. You don't wanna miss that one. All right, bye for now. I'll see you next week. That's all for today's episode of the Simple SEO Content Podcast. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you visit my website, etchedmarketing.com, and visit the freebies tab. Right there, you're going to find the SEO Content Quick Start Guide along with the free SEO class. So you'll have everything you need to know to get started with SEO and content marketing. Then do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, if you would do a rating and a review of this podcast on your favorite platform, that would really help spread the message. And I do greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Instagram at Etched Marketing Academy, and I will see you right back here next week.